The test starts with an etching by muriatic acid. Muriatic acid is being used here to basically mimic a deteriorated floor from use, whether it be salt spall, weather, excessive use. All the acid is doing is accelerating the process of surface deterioration to create a condition of, let's say, an old slab that is simply started to wear away on the top. Since the test is really more to do with mechanical preparation, it's yeah. not necessary to do any kind of neutralization. So the excess acid is simply wiped away before the mechanical preparation starts. Did you already send it? Well, that's about it. One half of the sample is going to be hand ground with a seven inch 24 segment turbo cup. The aim here is to remove the weakened material as well as to flatten out any elevation inequalities caused by the etching because the etching does remove some of the concrete matrix as well as the aggregate. So the floor is clean and smooth. On the other side is a shop blast which is going to also remove the weakened material but it will do nothing to change the elevation inequalities where the acid has etched away the concrete matrix and the aggregate but as will be shown at two different rates. So any roughness that's caused by that acid is not going to be addressed by the shop blaster. It's simply going to remove the weak material and any dust that's created during the process. Closer inspection reveals that the damage done to the aggregate and the concrete matrix is different. The aggregate is actually sitting lower than the concrete matrix and that's simply because of the way that the acid attacked the floor. On the hand ground side, everything has been chopped to the same elevation. The hand grinder has taken away the concrete matrix that was affected by the acid and then reduced it down to the level of the aggregate. So the floor is scratched to a CSP2, but it's obviously flat and smooth. The hose is used to vacuum the surface to mimic a wand vacuuming. This is the most that could be expected out of a vacuuming of a surface after any kind of grinding. A wand vacuum is standard. Here, the idea is to get all the dust that possibly can be by vacuuming alone. Water is dropped on the surface to check porosity, absorbency of the surface on both samples. About 15 minutes later, a shot blaster is used to de-dust a portion of the area that was hand ground. Water is dropped on that to see how the porosity is different from the shop blasting on an area that was before only hand ground and vacuumed. Three hours later, the shop blasted area on the right, the de-dusted area on the top left, the water's gone. The water that's on top of the hand grinding and the vacuuming only is still standing on the surface, and that's after three hours. And that's about it.